welcome back to Pregnancy Vlog Week. Oh my god, where, what week are we on now? I'm so confused. 15 and 16. We're going to do two in one and then we're going to be caught up and we're going to go back to live and I'm just going to do weekly ones. <laughs> Jeez. It's a big commitment doing these weekly, but, and I tell you why, because we announced on social media week 15. Um, I'll insert the picture here because I just think it's super cute. And maybe I'll insert as well um, my announcement with Elvis, my announcement picture with Elvis, because we kind of try to do like a similar style, like, but except like. Elvis is holding the picture this time. Um, okay, so I've got my notes here. I'm going to read them. Okay, so I put down on my journal that week 15 was the best week so far. Um, I really felt like I'm in my second trimester. No energy though. No, that didn't. No. But other than that, I really just feel... Sorry, that was a little burp. It wasn't me, it was the baby. Um, I really feel... Um, yeah, I just feel like I'm getting that second trimester feeling. Not necessarily the energy, but like other than that, I just, I'm like, finally, I'm starting to feel it. Like I'm starting to feel better. Um, I've put, popped down as well because I've been listening to a lot of podcasts. And a lot of these podcasts are podcasts that I listened to pre-pregnancy as well. But I thought I'd mention some of my like favourite pregnancy slash baby motherhood related podcasts in case you're... Um, a listener and you, like obviously in pregnancy you might find it interesting so one of the um one of my favorite ones in the uk is happy mum happy baby and um, that's by uh, giovanna fletcher she hasn't actually um done any new episodes recently but she's got a backlog of birth stories from celebrities to kind of maybe just stories that kind of maybe interesting stories um anyway i really like that podcast um i've probably listened to every episode on that um, already that's probably why i haven't listened to that lately um i really like strangely i really like australian birth stories um i don't know how i got put onto that but i really like that podcast there's a lot of um differences to the uk but ultimately like she has a mix of stories on there and it's all just normal women telling their birth and labor and pregnancy stories so i really like that one i like dr berlin's informed pregnancy podcast um he has a lot of celebs on there as well that's an american one um and i find him quite witty and like he's got quite a dry humor and it's quite cool uh, i also listen to the birth hour sometimes um can you tell i'm obsessed um i'm trying to Oh, I quite like Raising Good Humans. That's a good, like, parenting one. That is actually a really good one. Um, is there any more? I think that's all I listen to. But as you can tell, I'm quite into pregnancy, motherhood, birth, labour related podcasts so what would be great because now we're a community and most of you watching are either like new parents or on this pregnancy journey with me you might even be the same week as me can you just comment below please any fab podcasts of those topics because i'm obsessed um so yeah so that's week 15 yeah not much to say other than we announced on social i'm feeling great and been listening to loads of podcasts i think that's about it oh and by the way can i just say like the response on social media because i've been quite quiet especially on my instagram i've kind of kept up with youtube a little bit but it's just been phenomenal like obviously not a lot of people knew i went through a loss but i just wanted to be open and honest about it and i just feel like i've had such a um lovely response so thank you also like now obviously the videos have started going up just I'm, I'm posting more pictures like I just don't have to hide it anymore um, and just honestly like the, even my stories they just give me life like I posted up gherkins the other day and the amount of women that were like oh my god love like obsessed and I'm just like are you guys pregnant as well and, and, and everyone's pregnant right now like celebrities people on Instagram friends family like everyone is pregnant right now like I'm like there's actually going to be a baby boom like I think it's quite a good thing that I'm considering a home birth because I don't know if there's going to be room at the inn. Kenneth will be like, knock, knock. 
let us in. No, I'm joking. I really hope I have a home birth. Um, okay, so now I've written some notes for 16 weeks, which is just past, but I'm just going to read what I put. Okay, so 16 weeks, I turned four months. It feels like another milestone. And I can definitely see the belly like popping out so much more now. Um, and we went to a family wedding on the weekend, which I thoroughly enjoyed. And I just felt so much more myself. And I really, I mean, I still went to bed at a decent time because obviously we've got Elvis. And um, so I was like, to Ken, you stay up, you enjoy it. I'm going to go to bed um, or I'm going to put Elvis to bed and then... I kind of wound down so I didn't overdo it in that sense but I just think you have to when you're like in social situations especially someone like of my personality it's like you have to be so switched on and animated and just energy and we were going for walks because we were sitting at this like amazing property it was such such a nice weekend it was basically like we had a little staycation away caught up with family we haven't seen in ages it was just beautiful but I must admit that Sunday coming back, I could not keep my eyes open. It was like a four hour drive and I slept for a little bit and then I did some of the drive. And then when I got home, I just was like bed bound. It was like I had a hangover. I just was feeling so rough. And the following day I still felt really rough. And it's almost like I got that like, oh, I feel so good. I kind of overdone it. And again, I never got that with Elvis's pregnancy because you know, I was just doing so much in that second trimester. So I don't remember being like, oh, I can do it, but then I'm going to like pay for it. I almost feel like I can do it and I can push myself, but then I kind of pay for it in the following days. So yeah, just that hungover kind of like feeling lousy, feeling the next day, no energy. Um, and that just might be how this pregnancy is. And I'm just kind of taking each day as it comes. But yeah, that was definitely something worth noting because I don't know if you guys are going through that with it. You kind of feel like you, you can do things, but you kind of have to take a little break after. Definitely feeling so much more movement from the baby. I think I mentioned in the last video, like this baby's so much more active, but like for real, for real, like I can just feel like constant shifting, moving. Um, and I feel like with Elvis, Elvis was more a pattern, like in the early mornings and at night, he would move tons. Throughout the day, we would have one spell or two spells where we'd get a little fl flurry of kicks, but most part in the daytime, he was very still. Like I remember it was real a real struggle for me to get people to feel kicks because it was like they wasn't really, he wasn't like active super daytime. And this is why it's so important when they say go by your baby's patterns um, once you start feeling baby. And also can I just put out there, some of you may, if you may be on the same week as me, you might not be feeling baby yet. If you're a first time mum, you usually apparently feel them earlier when you are, like when you've had pregnancies um but yeah going back to that it's like if i had had these pregnancies the other way around i would be worried with elvis like well, why don't you move much in the day because this baby just feels like um this baby just moves a lot more um so i think it's just important to just look at your own baby's pattern you know your baby's pattern you would know if there was like something different with that pattern and that's when you would kind of like reach out other than that i don't do like the actual kick counting i just i think that's i think you should just go by your baby's movement pattern and i think that's what the midwives recommend as well so i've definitely got the second trimester energy boost mentally like work wise editing wise podcast wise ideas creativity like just my mental capacity my organization planning like we've got easter half term coming up and i'm like right we need play dates we need this like i'm just more myself um like personality well, even just me checking in on people like my friends that have just had babies i'm like oh i must do that whereas i just feel like up until now i haven't had a lot of mental capacity other than the things i've just had to do and just get on with so that's really nice um i did recently put something on instagram where i was like um i must have been just really tired that day and i get really tired in the evenings and i just put something up and i was like guys can it, can you just tell me like if you've had kids previously is like in second or third pregnancies like is uh the energy boost in the second trimester is it a thing because i'm not feeling it like i'm feeling it mentally but in my body like no 
there's no change i'm still fatigued i'm still tired i could still nap every day i could still go bed and sleep tons is it is it because i already have a kid i was like i just need to know because i feel like me hoping and waiting and waking up every morning waiting for it is like a little bit disheartening whereas i feel like if i manage my expectations and everyone's like no hun it's not coming which basically everyone was everyone was like <laughs> Not one person said to me, yeah, it will come. Some people were like, it comes later, like in your third trimester when you get that nesting urge. So like for cleaning, like you get a little energy burst just before you have baby, mate, maybe. But most people were like, no, no, it's because you have a child. You don't get the energy boost. It just feels different. And I was just like, yeah, you know, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. I've just, I've just changed my perspective on it. And now I think I... I've come to terms with it. I've accepted it. It's fine. I'm not going to have energy. That's fine. Oh, another exciting thing is I've actually booked a holiday and I thought I wasn't going to go away um, for the rest of my pregnancy. But basically my best friend, kind of last minute, yeah, it was last minute, decided that for her 30th, which is right next to my 30th um, in May, she was like, I want to go to Dubai. Like, are you down? And I was like, I am I am down like obviously like I didn't want to miss out and if, if that's really what she wanted to do for her birthday I was like I'm there but I was a little bit on the fence um I was a little bit like oh should I go it's like, I, and then so I just decided you know what I'm gonna go because I just think I'm not massively doing anything wild for my 30th although I have planned a lot um and I'm excited for and I'll share that with you whatever week pregnant I am then but like it is my 30th too and I thought you know what I'm gonna be a mother of two soon like it's really kicking in I'm like maybe I deserve a girl's trip maybe I'll be really great and I know the girls I'm going with are super laid back so if I needed a nap or I'm not down to go clubbing that's fine um so I, I've decided I'm not going to go away as long as though I'm going to go away five days because I just know I'll feel guilty being away from Elvis and I just don't want to be away that long. So yeah, I am going to go. So that's something exciting to look forward to. And I think again, that just shows that I'm obviously feeling better if I'm, I've gone ahead and booked something. Um, and then me and Ken have a little staycation for my birthday. So I'm going to keep you updated on everything. I'm going to try and keep this one shorter because I just tend to ramble on. And then I will see you very, very soon for week 17 vlog, which will be in a couple days time. And I'm going to, um, I'm going to show you my belly on that one because then it's going to be like real time again. I won't forget. I'll do it at the start. So I don't forget. Um, thanks so much for watching. Don't forget to leave any comments below so I can like get back to your questions on the future videos and look if you've just got to your second trimester I know that you never fully feel safe in pregnancy but it is like another big milestone um every every like moment every bit every bit further you get in pregnancy you do just feel like a little bit more relief so I hope that you are feeling that with me and just trying to be in the present of this pregnancy and enjoying your pregnancy as much as you can. And if you're not enjoying pregnancy, I just want to put it out there because I recently said on our podcast, uh, Girl Past the Wine, um, I did a QA. and a Actually, I might link that below. I did a QA and a with Heather, who is my co-host. Um, we host it together. And she basically did a pregnancy Q&A from all the... Uh, Instagram questions that we had. I did mention on there that I do really love pregnancy and that not everyone has that experience and that is okay and I feel like we should really normalize that. That it's okay if you feel like pregnancy is a chore. It doesn't mean that you don't think it's a blessing. It doesn't mean that you don't love your child. I know that some people for, for them pregnancy is really hard and it's not fun and for some people, pregnancy is like an A to B because I want a child and I just have to go through this thing. And I hope that, you know, when I'm I'm talking about my experience, I'm trying to be as real as possible. And there is a lot of positivity from me because I do enjoy being pregnant. But I'm also trying to share that there are downsides. There are things that are annoying. There are horrible symptoms. And if you're really having a bad time, like I just want to give you a hug. <laughs> through the screen like I just want to be like do you know what it's okay um that's completely normal too um and something I recently recommended to uh one one mama was that if you're feeling really down now 
it might be an idea to think about because you know like I really felt felt with uh, Elvis's pregnancy I encapsulated my placenta and I really felt like that helped me a lot um with the emotional balance after I ha I mean I don't know any different I, I encapsulated I took my ta tablets they're like literally taking vitamins it's not gross at all um and I'll link the video below so you can find out more about what I did with Elvis. But I recently recommended that to a mum that's having a lot of ups and downs because if you're having them now, you may have them postpartum and that's just something to be aware of and prepare for. And um, just prepare for your postpartum journey. I'd really recommend um, encapsulating placenta. I had an amazing, amazing journey with it. I felt like it really helped increase, increase my breast milk. Um, it really helped emotionally, like just balance me. I didn't have those huge uh, peaks and, and valleys that people sometimes get postpartum so yeah I'm trying to keep this video short but I will talk about more of it in the next video and um, the process of me booking it because I've booked again this time to have my placenta encapsulated but I'm gonna say bye now and I'm gonna sign off I'll link the video the podcast and any other videos below thank you Mwah.